hello guys welcome to this video in this video i'm going to show you how to fill the dad application form from Hermit smith program a scholar commented in one of my videos that i should help share a video about how to fill this form and that is why i'm doing this video please share it to any scholar you know that is going for that Hermit smith program so that they will be aware of what and what to fill or what and what to consider why filling this form? Let's go. Lose gates. As we said earlier in this video, I'm showing you how to fill the Dad application form for Dad Hermit Smith program. Remember that this Dad Hermit Smith program is for master's program in public policy and good governance. So if you know that your bachelor's degree is related to public policy and good governance, this scholarship is for you and there are about eight universities that are under this program which we are going to see later there are seven universities guys seven universities that you can apply to for this scholarship and then now for you to fill this form here you will see the first thing is your name so here you are going to fill in your name as usual fill in your name you can use caps lock or you can just use your normal um writing like the your initials capitalized and then the other ones in small letter or you can use caps lock that means all of them in capital letters so it's based on your choice and what you want uh, but most times i prefer capital letters so i can rewrite this so because i prefer capital letters especially for my name so that it will be bold you see my name so mm -hmm. So now, for your nationality, you fill in your nationality at this point. If you're from Nigeria, if you're from Ghana, if you're from any country, so you fill in here your country. So in this case, Nigeria. And then down here, you will see different programs that are under the DAD scholarship. So you will see here that you cannot find the DAD Hermit Smith program. So what do you do at this point? You will see other programs. So it is now at this point that we will now type in the Hermit Smith program so you come here under others you fill in Helmut Smith program as you can see fill it the right way yeah I think here also there is also a dash in the way they write it for the scholarship so it's Helmet Smith program. Oh. oh my goodness. Okay, yeah. So this is it. After filling it, remember to tick here. Tick here and then you fill this point. Do you understand? But if you are going for APOS, APOS is already here for developing countries. This is for APOS if you are going for APOS. Do you understand? But in this case, you are going for Helmet Smith, so you need to fill in others and then you type in the name. And here also, remember, as you have already typed in your name, the term, your name will now appear on all the pages because at the upper part, you will see name. So your name, the name you filled initially will automatically come in here and stay. So you fill in your name correctly because if you make a mistake there, it will affect the whole pages of this form. Then after this first page, the next page now is where you fill in your family name. So what is your family name? So in this case, family name, maybe let me say my family name is Explorers. And then here, your first name, for Nama. So you fill in your first name. So in this case, my first name is Adese. And then you fill in your sex, male or female. So female. And then your academic title. If you already have an academic title, you can put it in here. And then here, you put in your date of birth. Date of birth. So maybe you fill in your date of birth, 23rd of... Um, I remember how they write it here they told you day slash month slash year so make sure that you use slash to differentiate the day the month and the year don't do don't use dash don't maybe you want to type maybe 23rd of um september you now put 23rd slash 09 dash 09 no this is wrong they have already shown you the format that you should use a slash so in this case you must use a slash to differentiate your month and the day and the year so in this case now the 23rd of may and then you put in the year maybe 1990 
So this is it. And then for your place of birth, maybe you were born in Imo State, or just type in or add here, depending on where you were born, you can put in, maybe if you were born in Umwaya, you can put in your place of birth as Umwaya. Remember, it should coincide with what is on your birth certificate. So check your birth certificate to see your place of birth. So Umwaya. And then here you see country of birth. So where were you born? You may be a Nigerian, you were born in Ghana, or you may be a Nigerian, you were born in another country. So you fill in the country of birth. That is the place your birth certificate is carrying as a country where you were born and then here you see variety single if you are married if you're single if you are and if you are married how many kids do you have so in this case if you are still single you take in single but if you're married you take in married and then here you now fill in country of permanent residence what is your country of permanent residence if you're in nigeria you stay in nigeria nigeria is your country of permanent residence so you fill in nigeria then here you now fill in your address you put in the street number any street number maybe um i don't know any street now so let me just use this idea you call the maybe number four yeah then you can search online to know the postcode of your area you know back in your based on your country find the postcode of any location you're putting you can search that online maybe i'll do a video for that how to search for a postcode so you put in the right postcode in this point then here you put in the country where this street is located and this is nigeria also so you fill in nigeria and then here you fill in your telephone number remember to add your plus two three four if you are from nigeria or if you're from ghana you add the right one i think is based on your country so make sure you have the code and then you start your number with eight one maybe five six seven nine well just fill in your number then here you fill in your fax or email so in this case you fill in your email so you fill in your email then after doing this then down here you fill in your secondary school what were the secondary schools you attended you fill in the name of your secondary school the years you attended it then here you fill in the type of final examination if it was your senior secondary school certificate examination you fill in here your ssce then here you fill in the year and the date it was awarded and here you fill in your results just keep on typing maybe your english language you had english language um Maybe my English language, I have a B, a C4. English language, I had a C4. Then my mathematics, mathematics, I have an A1. Then maybe you did um, government in your secondary school since you're going for government and policy so you need to do something that's also related to government and all those things so maybe your government you had a b2 or maybe b3 since it's already there then maybe you did um evil language or maybe you did which other um art course can one do at this point maybe you did commerce so you did commerce and you had a c4 so you type in your C4, maybe you did, um, remember to put your dash, depending on your separator between the name of the subject and the um, grade. Then maybe you also did something like um, accounting in secondary school, depending on what you did. So based on your YF result, maybe you got your accounting C5. So you put it there in command. So this is how you fill it. So you can see that this space can contain all your YF results. So make sure you fill in all your YF results at this point. Then down here, you will see University Technician Hochschule. So this one is now for your university studies. Which university have you attended? From maybe you started your university at the year 2020 and then you are completing this year 2024. So you fill it here. And then at which university, maybe university of nigeria and so car so this is it and then which subject or which course did you do maybe you did um political science so this is a possible course for this program so you did political science and then here you fill in the main subject 
So inversion student year, academic year at the time of application. If you have completed, you feel like you can leave this point because you have completed. Because you, you but if you are maybe in your penultimate year, maybe in your fourth year, you can now start feeling in maybe you are in your fourth year. But in this case, you can leave this place blank. It's not that necessary. Then here it said institution currently affiliated with university or institution. You don't need to fill in here. Leave this place blank. Then degrees held. So you're now filling the year you got your degree from this university. Maybe you graduated on maybe 24th of March. Remember the separator is a slash. So 23rd of March of 2024. That was the time you graduated. And then what is your degree um, title? Maybe it was Bachelor's of Arts. So you're filling Bachelor's of Arts. And then here, which subject? The same political science. So this is just it and then here you fill the, your degree results if you had a first class or a 2-1 you can say first class honors first class honors or if you had a 2-1 you can fill in their second class honors oh yeah second class upper so second class upper sorry guys <laughs> second class upper or second class lower depending then here degree is expected before taking up a possible scholarship so in the case maybe you have not yet completed your studies you know here you cannot ascertain your result because you have not graduated so this is now when you feel this point the expected time of your like the expected degree you need to have so at this point now you fill in bachelor's of arts that is if you have not graduated and then you put in the expected date of your final examination I think you should like have an idea okay i will finish maybe in july or you finish in august so you fill in the date here so but if you have graduated you don't need to fill anything at this point take note of that then down here you see duration of plan stay in study so this duration of plan stay in study is dependent on the program you know the dad Smith program it has different duration some are for like six months some are for like one year why some is for two years and um, just like that so it's now for you to know the university you're going to and how many years it is if you're going for a two years master's program you can come here and fill in um two years do you understand depending on your program and then here scholarship period applied for when is your scholarship uh, um, starting you will see it in the course when you go to the course you want to apply for you see when it will start in 2025 so you put in the start date most times it starts in october maybe it starts in first of um, october october is 10 and then it starts in 2025 then up to maybe 31st of september depending so take note of the date that your own is ending of maybe 2028 this is it and then you go to the next page here is now asking you choice of host institution so now here is the point you're going to fill your university see here there are three spaces these three spaces doesn't mean that you have to fill in three universities remember for that hermit meet you only have the possibility to choose two universities do you understand guys only two universities don't choose three you can go for one or you can go for two but if you go for two you know you are open to be selected in the two universities but if you are confident in one and you think it's only this one or this one or nothing else so you now fill in one university but you can apply for two universities that's the maximum so here you now fill in the university you want to go to maybe i want to go for peace and conflict studies so in this point i fill in peace and conflict um, studies then you put in maybe comma you put in the name of the institution that is hosting this. This is the University of Mardenburg. Mardenburg. Yeah. So this is now my first choice. Remember, put it according to your preference. If you prefer this university to the next one you want to fill, put it first. Then maybe my second choice, maybe something like um, uh, management and... Um, then for my second course, I want to go for management in non-profit organizations. 
guys this is a course for the dad hemispheres so if you want to know this course write in the comment section so that i can show you the courses that are available so that you will know what you are working for so that you know what and what you are eligible or what and what is open for you to apply so the next course i want to apply for is management and non-profit organizations sorry guys i need to write it as it is in the school name because if you make a mistake you're applying for another thing that is not there so this is how it's written non-profit organizations remember to add an s then this is hosted in the university of applied sciences applied sciences yeah applied sciences osna book that's where the university is located osna brook so uh, yeah so osna brook so this is the name of this university and the course that you want to do there so this is it you are done with this section so now have contacts been made have you contacted anybody you can tell them no this one doesn't if you have maybe contacted a person in the university to ask for something you can state it here but remember namely with attached copies maybe you can attach the copies of the mail you sent to the person maybe you were asking the person what's this course how can i apply what and what is needed do you understand so you send them a copy of the thing you ask the person but in the case you have not contacted anybody you can tell them no take no and then here institutions chosen field of specialization so this one is chosen field or study of specialization you can type in anything here maybe based on the courses you're going for maybe you're looking at something that is related to public policy you can just fill in here public policy just if you know like the um specialization if you already know the specialization you want to go into maybe you want to specialize in public policy or you want to specialize in governance good governance or you want to specialize in um non-profit organization so if you already know what you want to specialize in just fill it in at this point you understand then here abschluss do you intend to obtain a degree? Yes, you need to obtain a degree. So when you go to the university, we see the kind of degree they're offering. If they're offering, if they are giving you master's degree in public policy, or depending on the master's degree, so you find this in the homepage of the university to know the kind of degree they will give you after completing the studies. So that's when you will now tell them yes, you obtain a degree, and then you fill in the name of the um, degree, maybe master's of art or masters of anything just confirm with your university on their home page and then here is study research projects in in germany so the if you already have an idea of your study research projects you can fill it in here you can tell them areas you want to research in maybe public policy you can fill it here you want to research in something related to good governance I want to something refer to non-profit organizations so these are the areas you can fill in so if you already know if you know what if you are sure of where you're going you can just put it in here for them so they will have an idea of what you are interested in and then here it said which academic referees have submitted report for this application so at this point your referees maybe it can be your professor in the university or your lecturer while in the university or it can be your employer remember you need two referees so in this case you fill in the name of your referees maybe professor blah 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 just fill it in here and then for your workplace you have maybe um mr depending on your job and everything you can just fill in the person's name remember this should coincide with the names of your reference or your recommendation letters don't write another name here and at the end you get a recommendation letter from another person please be sure if you are not here sure remember you're submitting all these documents together you can leave this point till you receive your recommendation letter then based on what is on the recommendation letter you now fill in the names of the people that gave you those letters do you understand guys please anywhere you don't understand drop it in the comment section i will reply to all your comments please don't make mistake because if you make mistake in this form it will not be a good one it will not me it, like it's not a good one and it will not transfer a good message to the reviewer so make sure that 
you get everything right in this form. Then, um, then here they said, since when and where have you been learning German? If you have not started learning German, just leave it blank. You don't need to feel anything here at this point. But if you are maybe doing German at your home country, you can feel in here. But it's not that important. But if you are doing that, you can feel it in here. Then here it will ask you, please attach that language certificate or others if applicable. If you have gotten a certificate before in language, you can put it here. But if you have not, just leave this place blank. Then here, have you received that scholarship in the past? You tell them no. But if you have received, you can tell them yes. And then you fill in the program and the date. Then here is, are you or have you been sponsored by other institutions? If yes or no, you tell them based on your condition. Then the next question is, are you applying under another DAD program for the same period? No or yes, depending. And then here you fill in, are you currently applying to other institutions? If you are applying to other institutions, you tell them yes. If you are not, you tell them no. And then here they said, if yes, which decision have they, you received? So in the case you say yes, and maybe those people, you are still waiting for their response. You can tell them waiting for their response. Waiting for their response. If you made another application elsewhere. Or maybe at uh, the university. Oh, sorry, guys. Waiting for a response. Or maybe you have gotten admission but no funding. You can tell them gotten admission without funding. So this can be possible answers if you have applied to other university. Or guys, leave it blank. Just feel according to what is applicable to you. Then here is asking you previous visits abroad. If you have traveled abroad, you can fill it in here. From when to when you were, which country, and then for what, where did you go? Was it a conference? Was it for a short-term study? Was it anything? Then how was it financed? Maybe if it is self-sponsored, you can fill in self-sponsored. If you haven't, just leave it blank. If you don't, if you have not traveled abroad before, you leave it blank. It doesn't affect your selection. But the only thing they want to know if you already have such experience. Do you understand? So it doesn't affect anything. Then here, please give complete information. Practice your brief tactic height. So this is now here you fill in your job. Work experience during and after your higher education. So if you have worked, maybe I worked from 2022 to date. Maybe it's still till now, till date. Maybe you're working with an organization. Maybe you can here. You fill in the name of the organization. Remember, this should coincide also with your CV. Don't fill in another thing here or fill in another date here and have another thing in your CV. Please, let everything be similar. Let everything be glitch. Let them be the same. So this is it. So here, maybe you're working in maybe one organization. Which, you know, which an organization now can come with? Peace and Conflict Center. Guys, I don't know if this exists. <laughs> oh, maybe in a leg in Lagos State. Oh. Mm -hmm. Then position, maybe um type of work. Maybe if it is a full time work or you know maybe full time work. As a word, maybe you can be a researcher at that point at the institute. A researcher, maybe junior researcher, sorry, because I think there should be a senior researcher too. So maybe you are still a junior researcher. And then here, please and conflict center, Lagos States. Okay, so now here, please be checking your spelling so that you will not submit something that is wrong. Junior researcher, then they said, um, so I think this is it, there's no other thing. If you have a title, you can put it here, but just the position, junior researcher is enough. Then at this point, maybe from 20, um, 20, from 2020 to 2021, oh, oh, sorry guys, to 2021, maybe at this point, I was a, um, I worked as a, I worked in a voluntary organization. Maybe uh, you say, ah, environmental, <laughs> I 
let's get something guys i what can i from it now maybe during this 2020 to 2021 you were involved in a maybe sdg should i put sdg or what else can be here make sure that institute or where can one work maybe something like um government policies in the government policies institute <laughs> guys just feeling the right thing please let us just not feel rubbish let's just leave it at like this just feeling completed the location then your position maybe there you were a volunteer just you went there just to see what they were doing as a young policy maker you just want to have an idea of what is happening there and then volunteer this is enough so maybe this government police policies institute is in maybe abia state you can fill it here then you're a volunteer you fill it in then others you can fill it in then please enclose written proof they said please um present professional occupation Present professional occupation, please enclose proof. So you can put in your letter of employment, yes. Maybe the letter you got showing that you were employed in the company, you fill it in here and then you attach it with your documents. Remember, as they said, enclose proof. It doesn't mean you should attach it here. It only means that while uploading your supporting documents, include that document to your documents. Do you understand? Then here, will you be granted leave or absence? For your stay in germany you tell them yes if you tell them no it means that your company will not allow you to travel do you understand this question is tricky so you tell them yes that means your company are ready to leave you to go for your masters in germany do you understand because if you tell them no that means there will be a friction so you may not be they may be like okay maybe if you leave it to be a problem so it's better you tell them yes that you are free to travel you are free to you are free to leave at any time when your study starts. And then here, if possible, enclose confirmation from your employer. So you need to get a letter from your employer showing that they will grant you the permission to leave whenever your study starts. So get this letter in a letterhead from your company. You are good to go at this point. Remember to attach it to your supporting documents. Then here is asking you, what professional career do you envisage? If you already know, based on what you have written in your um letter of motivation maybe you can say that i want to be a policy maker in the future that's what i want to be that's why i'm doing all this so you want to be a policy maker you can fill it in here and then here what are your extracurricular interests hmm. my extracurricular interest in this point may be singing traveling tell them traveling so that they will know that you're ready to travel and come to study do you understand so just filling your hobbies traveling uh, meeting people <laughs> yeah meeting people is your hobby then what else can be your hobby maybe running or indoor activities indoor sports activities sports activities maybe you like going to the gym so this can be an indoor sports activities and then here you say other information or remarks which seem important to you concerned with this application. If you have anything to say, you fill in, but you can leave it blank, guys. Too much information, too much problem. So just limit it to the ones that are very, very important. And then here, name and address of the person to be notified in case of emergency. So this can be your family member. This can be your any of your family members. If you're married, this can be your spouse. Do you understand? So you fill it in here. And then here, your place or where you're filling this form from maybe i'm filling it from um since i'm working in lagos state here is my employment yeah i said i'm working in lagos state so maybe now my current address is in lagos state okay you fill in here lagos state and then here the date maybe i've completed this form at 24th of july of 2024 so now your signature then this is the point you sign now we are done filling this form all you need to do now is to print this form when you print it you use your pen and sign at this point 
Then before you scan, remember to attach your passport on this second page. This is the page two. You attach your passport here, but take note, don't staple it. You can use the gum and place your passport there. Any way you can place your passport here without stapling it is allowed. So you place your passport here with your signature at the down part here. You scan the document. Make sure that the scanned copy is clear and readable. Then you upload it together with other documents for this scholarship. I wish you guys all the best. Please like and share to your friends that you know that are applying for this Dad Henry Smith program. And till next time, I appear on your screen. Bye.